Shall we rise up, please? Eka did the Let's close our eyes. Eka did you are. We're going to pray like this. How about drive you? Lord Jesus. Whatever is not of you in my life, whatever I've been pampering in my life, in your mercy, O God, reveal them to me today and remove them in my life. In the name of Jesus, let us be like that. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you this afternoon. Father, we lift up on you because you are faithful. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Father, we gather here before you, O God. We know that you are the only one that owns our life, that owns our existence. Father, we are ever, O God, we have been disappointing you. Father, deal with us this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, both the speaker and the hearer, O God, we pray that we shall not remain the same again to this ministry in the name of Jesus. Talk to us yourself. Do with our heart yourself. For in Jesus' powerful name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let men of the good shout a powerful hallelujah. A glorious hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's sit down briefly, beloved. I sincerely thank the Lord who has counted me worthy to stand before you today. And I also thank our Father and the Lord for considering to be able to come here today. I thank him sincerely. This is my first time of standing in your altar like this. Even though I'm a member like you. I give God the glory. For making today to happen. I give God the for making today to happen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, beloved, we are going to discuss about men of integrity. And uh, there is a time set for me. And by the grace of God, I want to try as much as possible to, to keep within that time. Men of integrity. But sometimes I wonder in my heart, where are the women also? Because as we talk of men of integrity, we must talk of women of integrity also. Because the same quality, the same standards, God is expecting from every one of us. So as you have men of integrity, we need women of integrity. Also. Let's open to Genesis chapter 20. Genesis 20. Genesis 20. I want to read a few verses there. Genesis 20. I read verse uh, 5 to 7. Said he not unto me, she is my sister. And she, she even she herself said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart, I know sense of my hand, have I done this? And God said unto him in the dream, Yea, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart, for I also with thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffer I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet. And he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are dying. On Genesis, you will go out as a carnore. On Koa, we fool me pay, Arabian Minishi, on our obering, Tikalara, we pay, Arakuni Mini, Leo Tito, you know, at here I lay, I share all of me, Ni Mofi, she ye, along with you fool. Leo Jura, Penny, Amy Mock, Leo Titor, and Nora, and Nee, Wafi Shay, Nitorino, Lee, Miss Shay, 
da duro ki o ma si se 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 mi li emi se da do la ko ma se se mi nitori na le emi ko si se je ki iwo ki o fi owo kan nje nitori na mu aya okunrin na pada fun woli ile ohun se ohun yo si gbadura fun iwo yo si ye bi wo ko ba si mu pada ki ki wo ki o si mo pe kiku ni wo yo ku iwo ati gbogbo ohun ti en ti je titire first king chapter 9 first king ah uh, oyo ba kini chapter 9 ori kesan i want to read verse 4 to 7 mo fe ka lati ese kerin si keje first king chapter 9 oba kini from verse 4 ori kesan lati ese kerin and if thou will walk before me as david thy father walk in integrity of heart and in uprightness to do according to all that I have commanded thee and we keep my statute and my judgment then I will establish the throne of the kingdom upon Israel forever as I promised to David thy father saying there shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel verse 6 but if ye shall at all turn from following me ye and your children and will not keep my commandment and my statue which i have said before you but go and serve other god and worship them then will i cut off israel out of the land which i have forgiven them and this house which i have allowed for my name will i cast out of my sight and israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people yes. shall i read praise the lord hallelujah now from those two scriptures we have just read now i'm sure you know the meaning of integrity there when you, look, when you look at our title today there are two important words that are very very important there the first one is men men what do we call men? An adult male human being. An adult male human being. An adult male human being. Human being taken as a old. He who made them in the beginning made them male and female. There's deliberateness in the art of God when he created uh, them male and female. A man is not a duplicate of female. And the woman is not able to perform the work of and function of a peculiarly assigned to man. Ah, only koko koto mbeni no kono ron neba to fida on loko atabo ki oluku luku le wani oju shere gege bi oko ati gege bi aya. Let's look up here. Eje ki awoke ni. When God created you as a man, neba to lo ada gege bi oko ni. He made you specially and peculiarly to be a man. O da o o da o lo lo shan la ti le je o kuri. And there are functions that God expects you to perform as a man. O si lo an oju shetu lo ati fili wa lo la ti ma shikere bi o kuri. And of course, as women also, God gave them function to perform. Ba kana ni an o bi lo ati foju shetu wa la ti ma she. There are some peculiarity that as, that a man must attain in the work that he needs to perform as a duty in the home. Ah, an oju shetu kan shan wa to. Now let's talk about integrity. What is integrity? What is integrity? Number one, righteousness. Akoko ododo. Righteousness. Akoko ododo. Uprightness. Without wavering. I shake it. I be Blameless. I love one. Let's look up here. Can you see the meaning of integrity? And as I'm talking to you now, we need to put ourselves in that picture. If God has put his mirror before you as you are sitting now, and examine the quality of man who you are. As a member of this church, as a father in the home, as a son in the home, as a worker in the office. God says, integrity means righteousness. It means uprightness. Without wavering. Somebody who is blameless. What is integrity? The quality, the quality of being honest. Being honest. Purity. Having strong moral principle. Telling the truth. Somebody who is probity. 
Somebody who is open. Beloved, if you are following me, shout hallelujah. Don't allow the temptation to go and doze away now. Because the devil knows something. He knows that if you can conform to this standard, your access to the mind of Christ will be very simple. It means, it means transparency. Somebody who is transparent. Somebody who is not clumsy. He has no hide and seek in his life. No hypocrisy in his life. No cover up. No meandering. No meandering. I used to remember when we were born again in those days. When we are born again in those days. We are, when we are Christian member of a church. Quality, I'm telling you now, they are very simple to be found among believers. Brethren are not suspect to one another. What is integrity? It is calling a spade a spade. And not just a walking the new walking instrument. That is saying the truth. Saying the truth. If Everyone in the way in the compound where you are living. You are looking for somebody who will tell the only truth. Are you the person? Are you the person? Not an impositor. Not an impositor. What is integrity? Harmony of your life and your lib. I'm only of your life. And your lip. As I'm preaching to you now. Is it an impositor? 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 Is Men of character. Men of virtue. Men of virtue. People that men and God could depend upon. People can trust. Good testimony. Who have honest reports. What are we saying? People of integrity. They are they are gospel ornamental Christian. Gospel ornamental Christian. Integrity is what you are in the secret without anybody to fear. Integrity. Integrity is what you are in the secret without anybody to fear about you. It is a life that confronts the conscience of others. One day, I remember one day, I traveled. I was preaching to somebody. After I preached, he looked at me. He said, do you think this thing is possible? Beloved, it is possible. I am talking to you. I am not from the moon. I am a human being like you. God, God wants us to have integrity. God is talking to men. God is talking to women. That he needs men of integrity. A perfect holiness of God in standard. Let's open to the book of Genesis chapter 18. Open your Bible to Genesis chapter 18. Genesis 18. Genesis 18. I want to read just a uh, uh, few verses there. Genesis 18 from verse 17. Verse 17, I read. And the Lord, and the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham? That that thing which I do, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, 
and all the nations of the earth shall bless him. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may, uh, may uh, bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. <laughs> Let's look up here. Look at the comment of God regarding Abraham. God said, for I know him. He knows Abraham. That is integrity. That is God's comment about Abraham. Also in the book of Job chapter 1. Verse 1. And so verse 8. Verse 8 also. God passed a particular comment regarding Job. When the council of elders were meeting in heaven, God called attention of Satan on to Job's integrity. He called Job's integrity. He called the attention of Satan to Job's integrity. Let us look at Job chapter 2. Job chapter 2. Job chapter 2. Job Urikeji. I read verse 3. And the Lord said unto Satan, As thou consider my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and eschew evil, and still, and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him. To destroy him without cause. Olu asi yufu satani pe wo aki esi jo boroshe mi pe kosi e keji re liya ye akunti she olu tati osi duro shishi eni tu beru alone tati osi kori ra iwa buburu be li osi di wa tito re mu shishi bi wa tile ti de 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 mi si lati run la ini di. Look at comment of God regarding Job. Oh, we, we used to say only God is indispensable. But look at what God said about Job. He said, can you see Job? There's, there's no one like him. Job was indispensable. Job was indispensable. Beloved, the kingdom of God is not a kingdom without a rule. The kingdom of God is not without a rule. You can practice your Christianity the way you like. There are guidelines to follow. I had a story sometimes ago. A new church was just established. Somewhere in Sangu there. And he met another old church very close to that church. That new pastor. Ah, a pastor to you. He said, When I said my church here, two ladies came to my church. And they were reporting that pastor to me. Oh, they said this pastor has been doing this and did that unto me. The new past, this, this new pastor, uh, pastor Titu, he went and looked for the old pastor. He couldn't meet him. He said, please, anytime he comes, tell to see me. When this new pastor came, and the old one met him, he he said, my brother, this is what I heard about you. We men have been coming that you have been fornicating and sleeping with them in the church. Do you know what he says? He said, what is your problem about that? I am a pastor, you are a pastor. You can do whatever you like. I can do whatever I like. Beloved, in few months, the old, the old church closed down. You see, the kingdom of God is not a kingdom without a rule. God has a rule for his kingdom. Look at what we are now seeing in the church of God today. Perhaps even in our midst possibly. What are we seeing? Pseudo-Christianity. Iro. 
Our Christian Unira. Pseudo Christianity. Our Christian Unira. Bastardized Christianity. Our Christianity. Don't you say we both did the Kuda? Hooliganistic Christianity. Our Christianity. To one day or another. We 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 Christo Paganistic Christianity. Our Christianity. To one day. To one day Aborisha. I read a particular paper sometimes ago. Moka, it talk on you. There's a church somewhere in Italy now. He joke on one, he loot you. When you come for for the first time in the church, a koko regega bi la koko de sinu. They will sing and welcome you. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. And they will serve you a very chilly cold of gouda. One for ni gouda to 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 oti gouda to 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 dara dara. That's the welcome guideline for that church. He joy he ogan ni ono la ti koko ki ekabo. Churches that you are seeing these days. How do we see Christianity today? How do we see Christianity today? By the sticker you put on your car. Christianity, you put on your car. By the sticker you put on your car. Christianity, 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 you put on your car. But nothing in their heads. But nothing in their hearts. And the word of the word Christian. Only appear three times in the Bible. Oh, Pharaoh, Lego, 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 Lego
What is the difference between those who go to church now and the people outside? In those days, people of the world, they look into the church for men of integrity to be in their organization. Oh, they used to write. Please send men from your church to work with in me in my, in my company. They do those in those days. But today they can't do it. The church of those days had integrity and character. They won't gang up to steal. They won't commit fraud. They won't cheat the company. Even right in the church now, men of integrity, they are very scarce. Character is integrity manifested. What are we seeing, beloved? What are we seeing today? Like pastor, like church. Whatever is happening in the church today, let us ask the pastors. We have so many dog and pig in the pulpit. Who are, who are preaching the truth? They are preaching half truth unto the member. Oh, what are they teaching them? They preach the grace of God. But but they, they preach the grace of God, but avoid the teaching on God's judgment. They deliberately avoid God's judgment. Oh, they say this is the time of grace. Nobody can live a life of integrity. They preach the love of God, but they avoid holiness. They deliberately avoid the complete teaching of the word of God. So, so as not to offend the good finance of the assembly. They know if they preach the truth. The rich man will carry his money and leave the church. I remember when I was a pastor. When I was a pastor in a branch. A man came to me one day. He said, Daddy, pray for my car. I stood by the side of that car. I said, Father, in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, Ask him why you got the money. I said, Bro, why you get the money to buy this car? He was just smiling and telling the story. Then he went away. After a week, he left my church with his wife. And I called him one day. I said, Why did you leave the church? He said, Your church is too hot for me. It has to be hot. Church is supposed to be hot for the sinners. Church is like a police station. When I'm rubber run to the church, when I'm rubber run to the police station, it's very happy. Thank God. It has entered where they're going to catch him. But what are we seeing today? Many I'm robber are in the church. Many fornicators are in the church. Many thief are in the church. Many forwarder are in the church. They will dance and bring money to the altar. These people. people Paul says. Paul, Paul says, I am free from everyone's blood. They know Jesus Christ as Savior. But they don't know Jesus as a judge. They tell them Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. But they never tell them that Jesus Christ is the judge of the whole world. They say, follow peace with all men. They preach joy, joy, joy. They preach peace, peace, peace. But they forget to tell them that without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Ministers don't want to offend anybody. All they want is joy. All they want is blessing. All they want is prosperity. All they want is God goodness. We talk of heaven as if it is a place for everybody. Oh, they tell you heaven is good. As if heaven is for everybody. 
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. When he was preaching, he said, "You are your, you are your, your, your forefather, the devil." He said it. Because they are children of the devil. What are we saying, beloved? Without integrity, no one will get to heaven. Tell your friend. Tell him now. Without integrity, no one will get to heaven. Look at his face again. And say, and say my brother, we are Rami, without integrity, like see what you nobody will get to heaven. Many are collecting the passenger, but we never enter the kingdom of God. Many people's salvation is just mental salvation, but not in the heart. If I ask you how many of you are born again now, how many people will raise up their hand that they are born again? But majority of us are mental salvation. But when you come to the real heart, the heart is not born again. Many are carrying big Bible in their hands, but not in their heart today. Many preach the truth are still indulged in secrecy. I had a story. A friend of mine who was coming from Port Harcourt. They entered the luxurious bus. As they were coming, a lady got up. I begin to preach salvation. Five message. Beautiful message. And as he was preaching, the Lord spoke to my friend. He said, after that lady sit down, go and pray to her. Ah, he said, God, I cannot talk to somebody who is preaching. He knows the Bible. He was preaching the Bible. God said, go and talk to her. After the lady finished the message, he sat down with that, my friend. And they were discussing. Through their discussion, the lady came out. He said, I was going to Lagos to go and sleep with my boss, with, with my master. We are coming for nication. What are we seeing? Killing truth. In the mouth of liars. Many man the pooping right now as I'm doing now. They will preach the truth. But they are liars. They are liars. They thought that God. They thought that God does not see. If you believe the gospel, believe the gospel and ask the gospel, what are we saying? We want to see the gospel in your character. We want to see the gospel in your conduct. Integrity will impart into your future. You may have gifts. God may give you a gift. But may I tell you, any gift that you have without integrity, that gift will surely ruin you. If you follow me, shout hallelujah. Our God is a God of integrity. Our God is a God of integrity. He will never say no or yes together. In number 23, verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie. Whatever he says, we surely come to pass. In Hebrews verse 18, God is the greatest covenant keeping God. He's God that keeps keep covenant. In Psalm 18 verse 34, God always stands by his word. Jesus says, Heaven and earth may pass away, but the title of my word will not go unfulfilled. We must be a predictable Christian. What are we having today? We are having today a chameleon Christian. A chameleonistic Christian. They can pretend in the church. When they are before the pastor, they can behave as a Christian. It is hard now to find Christian when it comes to the issue of money. When it comes to the issue of money, very hard to see Christian now. 
When I joined a particular church before I left, and we were having a workers' meeting, somebody was asking a question. And he said, Pastor, is it wrong for me? If you, ask me, if you ask me to go and buy cement for you, and I buy the cement and I top it 2020 20, naira, is it a sin? Of course, it is a sin. These are simple, simple things. In those days, we we don't ask that question because you know that unfaithfulness is unfaithfulness no matter where it takes place integrity die at the table of naira and dollar no one is to be trusted when they come to the, to, 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 to the issue of having pulpit on the area of money also many pastors cannot be trusted many ministers cannot be trusted be trusted. When they come to the issue of money, many will be using diabolical ways even from the pulpit to collect money from the members. Because they lack integrity. I know a church in this Lagos. If you want to pay offering, if you are born, you not born again. They will say, you bro, don't drop your money now. Mama, if you want to buy you, sister, Please don't drop your money. You'll be embarrassed. Go and see the face of God Go and see the face of God first. That is church. What are we seeing today? I was in the pastor's meeting one day. One of the pastors pastor was a preacher and exhorting us. The pastor must not collect blood money. Ah, you can't a senior pastor stood up. He said, Yes, pastor stood up. In a meeting on microphone. He said, shut up your mouth. Where do you see blood money? All oh, money are clean. When I lay my hand upon it, they are all sanctified. I rose up. I went to talk. This Baba, Baba, sit down. You know you, you cannot take it. But go and bring it, I will take it. That is the church of God we are going today. Men, they lack integrity. No integrity. The whole world is looking at the church. For the light and the sort of the world we are called. I used to tell people in those days, there are three things that can keep you from hell. Keep you from hell fire. You can run away from them. Number one, money. Number two, women. Number two, three, position. If you can run away from those things, oh, you are very close to the kingdom of God. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26, the Bible says, among my people, among my people, I found wicked men, wicked men, we have extortionists in the church today. Right from the pulpit. Men who are in the church for business alone. They are contract seekers. Men who are looking for motivational speakers. I thank God for you. I thank God for your church. Many church doesn't hear me messages like this again. When they want to do men seminars, all they want to hear is how we, can, how we can make more money. How all the motivational speakers is what they are going to bring. Oh, they will say integrity is old-fashioned. This message of power is not palatable to people today. What are we saying? Number one, Akoko. integrity in the home. Integrity in the home. A situation where the husband and wife trusted themselves 
and without any fear. People of the world, they will tell you, bro, you are trusting your wife like this. Men are not, women are not to be trusted. A Christian family is supposed to be different. A perfect trust. Between the father and the and the wife. Between the parent and the children. Between the children and the parent. Integrity. It will be dependable. It will be trustworthy. When your wife is no longer your wife. When things are better for you. What you are lacking is integrity. Beloved, you don't know. Christianity is not to be practiced in the church. Christianity is not to be practiced inside the church. We are to hear the message inside the church. The church is supposed to build us up. But we cannot practice Christianity inside the church. Because in the church we can pretend. For the few hours we have together. For Christianity is need to be practiced in your home. Inside, Inside your house. Ask somebody very close to you. Does your wife know you as a Christian? Ask that brother. I'm waiting eh, for you. Look at that brother. brother. Does your wife know you as, as a Christian? There are some of us. Our children does not see us as Christians. Because we live a Camelonistic life at home. We are pretender inside the church. But back at home, we are lions. Look at the, the play we just watched sometimes ago here. It he shows the picture of a typical home. Many of us like that in our home. If your children are not Christian today, it means you as a father. Something is wrong with your Christianity. Because what you preach to those children, what you preach to those children, they cannot sit in your life. What you preach to your wife, your wife cannot sit that quality in your life. If you are going to make heaven beloved, if you are going to make heaven beloved, when you get back home, Ask your wife. I am a am I a Christian? If you say no, better go back to God. And search yourself. Ask your children. Am I a Christian? If your children say no, daddy, something is wrong with all. We need to, to ask ourselves. Christianity is not a practice inside the church. What you are in the church must be the same what you are in the home. It should be the same. In, you, in the market where you serve, in the office where you work. When I became born again in those days, I was a lecturer in that time. I was a lecturer. Anything I want to sign. Any lecturer coming behind me. They will push me aside. He said, yeah, yeah, man, don't sign. If you, if you sign now, we will, we will not be able to sign again. Because if I come 9 o'clock, I will write 9 a.m. So you cannot sign 7 a.m. after you see 9 a.m. You cannot sign. Now what we call integrity. I want to ask us. In the office where we are working. Do they know us as a Christian? If they don't know us as a Christian. Something is wrong with our Christianity. When I became a businessman. I don't know how to rush up and down. People will come, come, and, come and sit down with me. Ah, I say, why coffee? is it that we are running up and down and you just sit down in the place? Oh, okay. well, I, 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 I
I will use upon you to minister the gospel unto them. Because the race is not for the swift. Only God give the increase. It's not the labor that you make. It is God. Integrity is very important. What are we seeing in the schools today? Oh, many students who are Christian. During the examination, what do you see about them? Oh, they cannot do. see that in the front. Oh, they will say, ah, when we are in Roman, be like a Roman. This is a school. We cannot practice anything here. They will go and steal at the bar. Integrity has lost. Has lost. Ah, to In many of our IS today, many of our students cannot defend their degree. Oh, polo, polo. Because they got papa, through the back papa, door. To, uh, to, uh, to they uh, lack integrity. Want to call you to talk to when they are comforted, they replied, they are when you are Roman, be like a Roman. What about time management? Time. Look at me here. When you come to the issue of time, 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 time. is very important. When you fix a period, you stand up by period. That is integrity. If you fix a time for somebody, I am coming by age. Make sure you are there by age. If you are going to change the time, you must call the person earlier and tell him. I want to make it so and so, but I couldn't make it again. That is integrity. It looks very simple. But that is how we know who you are. What have we seen in Africa? This African time. There's nothing like Africa, African time. Africa, Africa does not have a separate clock. What you are lacking is integrity. You don't have integrity. You don't have integrity. You need to check ourselves. When you fix a time, you stand by that time. It's part of faithfulness. I want to ask you, who are you? Can you be trusted? Many of us are like Judas. Having the post. Stealing, stealing from the post. Having the post. Stealing from that post. Of course, Jesus never bothered himself. He knew he was be stealing. He knows it's a matter of choice. For a better understanding now. We are going to break our message into five different points. Don't worry, I will stop when my time is up. Five different points. For a better understanding. Point number one. Men of integrity in the Bible. Men of integrity in the Bible. Because of our time. Genesis chapter 5. Just write it down. Verse 21 to 24. Don't refer to somebody here as Enoch. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God for 365 years. Enoch was the first person. The Bible says he walked with God for 365 years. Don't forget that Enoch has no pastor. Enoch has no church. Enoch has no mentor. Enoch has no counselor. He has no advisor. He has no prayer warrior. He has no father in the Lord. And he walked with God for 365 years. His wife the wife of Enoch did not work with God. The children of Enoch, even Methuselah, who live now around 69 years, he never served God one day. He never served God one day. Many are bastards who never learn from their pastors and mother in the Lord. They do whatever they like. They do whatever they like in the church. They never learn from their leaders. He has no mentor at all. He stood by the Lord. 
is too bad in law. Look at modernization of church of God today. They even want to modernize God if possible. They want to create a new God. The Bible says 300 years. Enoch. Inoku. Of no backsliding. No discouragement. Ko, 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 ko no mistakes. Ko si no tiredness. Ko si, ko, 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 ko of course, there was devil at that time. Bo there are trial at that time. E, 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 there are persecution at that time. E, 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 Inoku remained undaunted. Inoku, Look at somebody very close to you. Bo e to bere, dara dara. Can you be Enoch of today? Number two. Oh, KJ. What about Joseph? Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter Joseph. The young boy that was sold to slavery. The wealth of Potiphar. Oh, yeah, Potiphar. Keep on pressurizing him. Oh, person, he tell me more. Oh, come and lie with me. 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 Look at that boy, Joseph. Yeah, one more, two more, three. Joseph, got a free sex. Oh, a funny or a fella to watch a ship for love. A quick sex. A bashing for kia kia. A possibly a cover sex. A bashing for two farasin. But not for, but 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 you will not sing unto God. What did Joseph do? Kini Joseph so? He bluntly refused. Oh, God, he never gave it a thought. He never meditated upon it. He never said, oh, go, let me go and think about it. The woman will be crying and be weeping. If you don't lie with me, I will die. If you don't lie with me, I will, I will go crazy. Joseph never give it a thought. What did he say? He said, How can I do this great wickedness? How can I do this great wickedness? And sin against God. Sin against God. Not against Potiphar. Not against Egypt. But against God. That is what we call integrity. Joseph never want to be with that woman. He will try to avoid the woman. Oh, oh, try to avoid the woman. Oh, Whenever he wants to do, carry out his work in the house. And we see the woman around. The, the Bible says he will try to avoid the woman. Because proximity is the mother of immorality. Proximity, closeness. Ah, proximity is the of immorality. Many of us are too loose with the opposite sex. We are too loose with the opposite sex. Oh, because we want to manifest love. You shake them. You embrace them. I was standing one somewhere one day. In my former Church. Before I I, left, I saw one of the senior pastors. A lady called him. I said, My pastor, pastor, you are looking sweet. Ah, eh, you are looking sweet. Eh, eh, the pastor was saying, Hey, it's eh, me. Eh, I'm looking pe, sweet. Pe, I'm and they are watching themselves. I look at them. I, look, I shake my head. I just walk away. Do you know what they are doing now? They will say, My pastor, pe, pastor me. you look like Indomi. I want to swallow you. That's the language of the devil. In the name of love in the church now. Because of her closeness, proximity. Proximity. It can lead into sin. Too much closeness to opposite sex. Practice of, uh, uh, of hugging and embracing. That is going on today in many churches. In the name of love and joy. It was not in the book of Joseph in those days. Because he has integrity. What about Daniel? Daniel chapter 5. Verse 16 to 17. Oh, when, when, when Daniel was to interpret the dream, the, the, the king promised him so many things. What, what did Daniel say? Daniel said, Daniel said to that king, he said, Keep your gifts. Keep that gifts. 
Bible them all. Unto thyself. Unto thyself. Unto thyself. Unto thyself. Unto thyself. Unto thyself. He said, then even prefer the prayer. He said, he stood, he stood, he stood his ground and o, said, keep that gift unto yourselves. I will, I, will, I will never take it. I will never take it. What I will say today, there are many prophets, many pastors, before you can see them, you have to pay Consultation fee. I put us on wo turn on. That Daniel was not like that. There are many mountains now. When you go there, we have different prayer. For different money. If you want them to feel put in Jesus' name with your own, four hundred and above. Ah, If you want to, you don't want Jesus in Jesus' name. Three hundred and downward. They are charging money. Consultation fee. Before they can, you can, you can prophesy. When a prophet put a price tag, when a prophet put a price tag, before responding to an invitation, is not sent from God. Daniel, Daniel, in his own time, he has become a prayer addict. Even when they made the law, nobody should worship any other god except the idol. Daniel preferred to die. Daniel preferred to die. Daniel, than to to bow go. down to unto idols. You lati, lati, for that is integrity. The same thing happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In Daniel chapter 3, verse 13 to 18, they stood their ground. They said they did not bow down to idols. They prefer to die than to succumb to pressure from people and crowds. For the fact that many people did it, or conform to it, did not make them to change their mind. That is integrity. The Bible says, He that swear to his own heart. And change not. That is integrity. What about Samuel? What about Samuel? Samuel in First Samuel chapter two. Verse two to three. Samuel was very bold to challenge the people. He faced the church. The whole nation of Israel. He, he said, "Of all of you around, who among you? Who among you? Who among you? Have I stolen their their garments?" Who among you are defrauded? defrauded. If I defrauded, he never defrauded anywhere. He never took bribe. He never perfected justice. The whole nation never saw anything in his life. Samuel stood tall. How many men of God could do what Samuel did today? How many men of God could do what Samuel did today? Without any uproar. A man of integrity is a man who is ready to die on his roots. A man of integrity is a man who is ready to damn the consequence. What people will say about you matter if you want to go far with God. As a leader in the church, take time. Wakuko. Ask people that you are leading. Tell them to comment about you. Ask question. How do you see me? How do you see me? People comment. Matters a lot. About your life. What about children of Rechabites? Children of Rechabites. Oh, when Jeremiah brought to the house of God. He set wine before them. He set wine before them. Of course, the children of Rechabites will never support to die. Even though it was the pastor that asked them to come and drink wine. They said they will never do it. Because their father has warned them. Never to taste wine. That is integrity. 
e yi ni wo tito what about paul the apostle ba won ti paul lo ati apostle paul paul lo apostle paul never saw a chain that were that got broken when there was earthquake nigbati ile mi Paul never saw that chain that God broke for him for him to run away. Paul ko ri sheke sheke to ja lowo re lati ri pe ona lati salary. He stood there in the prison. O duro sinu tubu yi. He told others to sit down with him. O si wi fun awon miran pe won ko gbudo lo ki bi bi won duro sibe. That is integrity. E yi ni wo tito. What about John? Ah Johannu ko. What about Peter? Ati Peteru. John. Johannu. Like many other apostles. Gege bi awon apostle miran. He stood with Jesus. O duro pelu Jesus. Through out. Titi. Even after the death of Jesus. Titi di ba igba iku John was thrown to the hot water hot hoy. Ah, so John was soon to be He was later born in the island of Patmos. Ah, to ah, Belosi, Oruko, Shu Patmosi. But he never changed. Shu Boko, you kwada. If you follow me, shout hallelujah. Seban tele meke hallelujah. Point number two now. Fun ekpele keji. Reward of integrity. E yigo ni ibaja de tabi. What are the rewards for integrity? Jolo tito, jolo tito. If you stand tall before God. So bale duro lo rese. If you are able to keep the standard before God. So le. Will there be any reward for you? Number one, there will be divine confidence. Oh, ni if 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 Akobale atonwa. Divine confidence. If Akobale atonwa. God will trust you. God will believe in you. Like He did unto Job and Abraham. He will give you long life. God will add honor to your life. Yosifi kuayere. Divine revelation will control it be your portion. Yosifu ni ronu. And of course, whatever you lack in this world, the Lord will make that available unto you. God is constantly on your side. And He has great and fantastic promise to those who will overcome and stand to the end. Yo, otini awo ipunurere ati awo unurere fu awo toba do do kuni. Point number three. Price of integrity. There's price to pay for integrity. Ah, ni di yele kan lati sofu iwa utito yo. Because of our time, Victoria Kukua. Please write it down. Eko sile. Acts chapter fourteen verse twenty-two. Acts chapter fourteen verse twenty-two. John sixteen verse thirty-three. We join Orike. What are the price you need to pray for integrity? Number one, enemy may raise persecution against you. The Bible says, they that will live godly on this earth must suffer persecution. People will entice you. Trials and temptations on the way. Sometimes loneliness. Abandonment. From those who are supposed to understand your plight. The world may tag you or they give you a name. Ah, wa ye gan le ma fi na gije ku yo. They will nickname you. Won fun ni oruko. In the house where you are living. Ni le to ngbe. They will give you a name. Won fun oruko. Where you are working. Ni bi to ti sise. In the market where you are selling. Ni bi to tin taja. Because of you refuse to compromise. Ni tori po ko lati gbojege. They may not like you. Won le ma feran re. But they but definitely they cannot ignore you. But you gbon je ko yo pe won ko le ta onu. Lack of encouragement. Won ki yo Lack of encouragement. From people who are supposed to assist you. What about real attack from the kingdom of darkness? With sentiment and discouragement. Satan will be preaching the gospel unto you. Oh, look at you since you are standing in the holiness. Where is your house? Where is your car? Where is your wealth? Where your bank account? Satan will discourage you. Of course, the journey full with hardship and dangerous activities of false brethren. There are satanic brethren. They will create, create a problem for you. Because you want to stand tall. And the final one here, at your tube in the satanic rage to discourage you. Satan, you go run out the day, let if you move, you will run out. You will raise a battle from the back against you. You move, you go in, you go go in, did they see you? Raise a battle from you. You go go in, did they see you? A battle you never expected. And we go to go to go. Somebody very close to you. And when it was small, quicky quicky. Somebody told me that you love very much. And when it was fair. 
they will suddenly turn to be your enemy. And they begin to abuse you wrongly. When you are seen that, it's a battle from the kingdom of darkness to discourage your integrity. How do we become a man of integrity? How do we become a man of integrity? Number one, genuine repentance and total submission to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you. Even though you may say you are born again, I want to encourage you. Go and reborn again. If you know your integrity is not standing, if you know righteousness is a, is a question in your question in your life. If nobody can trust you anywhere you are sincerely, Go back to God again. Today, some some people accept Jesus in, in repentance. They accept Jesus to their life, but they never truly repented of their sins. Many are like that. Oh, they say I give my life to Jesus, but they never repent of their sins. They are still dodging in secret sin. That is why fornication is still in their life. Some may be working for the Lord and still committing sin. Because their foundation was wrong. They are, not, they are not really born again. Because they are now leaders. Because they are now leaders. They cannot bend down again. I want to encourage you. I am going to stop now, beloved. Because my time is over. I want to encourage you. If you have got it wrong before, Please get it right today. God is looking for men of integrity. I want to sincerely tell you, nobody is indispensable before God. God can do without any of us. God can do without any of us. I want to tell you a story. Maybe you do not know. Isaiah. 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 I've been preaching the gospel. He has been preaching the gospel. He has been going everywhere preaching the gospel. Until one day, God was advertising the post of Isaiah. He wants to give to somebody. He said, Who do I send? Who do I send? And I said, Here am I send me. You? I said, Now show himself. I said, I worry that. He said, Who is me? I was dirty. He came down. He cried upon the Lord. He cried upon the Lord. He cried upon and the Lord answered him. What about John Wesley? Uh, John Wesley, back John Wesley have been preaching the gospel. John Wesley, he has been going about preaching the gospel everywhere. One day, he sat down either an aeroplane or in a bus. A lady asked him, uh, Are you born again? He showed him the, 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 the color. The woman said, Are you born again? He carried the Bible. He showed him the Bible. When the woman said it several times, he now sat down. He now re examined himself that he has not gotten the reading. He now go back to the Lord. He now got the writing. He now got the writing. Beloved, I want to encourage you. In as much as we are still alive now, it's not too late for us to get it right. If we are not living a life of integrity, Heaven has no record about you. All your labor, you're just wasting time. You're just wasting time. We need to live a life of integrity. A life of purity. A life of righteousness. A life that heaven recognizes. Let's bow our head now. Let's close our eyes. Let's close our eyes. Everybody bow your head. Everybody close your eyes. Integrity is very important. Men of integrity is what God is looking for. He's looking for somebody. And don't forget, he can do without any of us. When some mess up, 
God raised up David. God raised up Moses messed up. God raised up Joshua. God can do without any of us. When Eli, when Eli messed up, Eli. God raised up Samuel. Samuel Do you want God to replace you? God can replace you. God can raise up children from the stone. If our you, are you are will cry upon the Lord. If our you are you will cry upon the Lord. I will say, oh God, have mercy upon me. If what I've gotten is wrong, I want to get it right now. I want to get the right thing. I don't want to come to the service in vain. I don't want to labor in vain. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Begin to pray like that, brother. I will pray myself also. I will settle myself with God. Begin to pray. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Let us rise upon your feet now. Let's rise up quickly. We are going to pray just two prayer points. If I were you, I will pray with burning anger in my spirit. Close your eyes. And you are going to pray like this. Every seed of air fire in my life. Beloved, you know it. You know it yourself. And heaven know it. If you cry it out today, the Lord will deliver you. That thing you have been doing the secret. The one others must not know. You know it. You are going to pray like this. Every seed of air fire in my life. Enough is enough today. Come out of me now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray like that. Begin to mention the name. Is it anger? Is it anger? Is it lost in the heart? Is it unfaithfulness? Is it dishonesty? Is it dishonesty? Is it dishonesty? Is it dishonesty? Cry upon the Lord. Cry upon the Lord. Cry upon the Lord. Cry upon the Lord. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Beloved, open your eyes. You are not praying well. Though. I want to encourage you to pray more. You are not praying well. You have to pray with burning anger in your spirit. Because you need it. You need it. You need it. And God God holiness is not is bred from man holiness. Close your eyes. Lay your right hand upon your chest. I want to pray for you now. Before you pray the last one. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. I commit this my brother unto you, O God. We all have desire to serve in purity, to serve in righteousness. Father, every private battle that be fighting against righteousness in our life, Father, in the name of Jesus, begin to approve them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to approve them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to approve them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power that are about to send us to where our parents went, Father, we send that power now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray what that we need to do to make us see you on the last day. Father, I pray to start doing it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, both the speaker and the hearer. Father, open a new page Amen. in our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. In our spiritual journey in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Raise your two hands up now. And close your eyes. You are going to pray like this. Every seed of Satan that have been following me about. Every seed of Satan that have been following me about. Enough is enough. Come out of me now. In the name of Jesus. You to pray like that. Come out of me now. 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 Come out of me now